Okay, this is a review questions, uh, self-check for uh, chapter 5. If you would, uh, get your answers out in front of you, uh, whichever way you need to do that, and have those ready. And I'm going to go over these review questions with you. Uh, if you need to, pause the video and get your review questions out, your answers, and we'll be ready to go here in just a jiffy. Number one is to explain what an orthographic view is and why it is important to engineering graphics. Multi-view drawings usually require several orthographic views to define the shape of a three-dimensional object. So each orthographic view is a two-dimensional drawing showing only two of the three dimensions of the three-dimensional object at a time. Consequently, no individual view contains all the information to completely define the shape of the three-dimensional object. All orthographic views must be hooked together to comprehend or looked at together to comprehend the shape of the three-dimensional object. Number two, what does the running object snaps option allow us to do? The running object snaps option sets object snaps active until we turn them off. The running object snaps option allows you to actively control the placing of the cursor uh, to points on existing objects such as endpoints, midpoints, centers, and intersections to name a few. Number three, explain how a miter line can assist in creating orthographic views. The 45 degree miter line is a simple and straightforward procedure to transfer measurements in between the top view and the side view. Number four, describe the AutoCAD AutoSnap and AutoTrack options. The AutoSnap and AutoTrack options provide visual aids when the object snap options are switched on. So your main advantages are you see symbols that automatically display the object snap type at the snap location. You also receive tool tips below the cursor about the object snap. And then you also have this feature called a magnet where it locks the cursor onto a snap point when the cursor is near the point. With object snap tracking, the cursor can track along alignment paths based on other object snap points when specifying points in a command. To use object snap tracking, one or more object snaps must be switched on. The basic rules of using the object snap tracking option are as follows. To track from a running object snap point, pause over the point while in a command. A tracking vector appears when we move the cursor away from that point. You hover over that point just briefly, move away quickly, and a tracking vector will appear. To stop the tracking, pause again over that point. And when multiple running object snaps are on, you can press the tab key on your keyboard to cycle through available snap points when the object snap aperture box is on an object. Number five, list and describe two AutoCAD commands that can be used to get geometric information about constructed objects. One of those is the list command, L-I-S-T. It can be used to show detailed information about geometric objects. AutoCAD also provides tools that allow us to display and change properties of the constructed geometric objects. The Properties command not only provides the detailed information about the geometric objects, uh, modifications can also be done very quickly. Number six, list and describe two options you could use to quickly create a two line, a two inch line attached to a two inch circle. So in the object you have a two inch circle and a two inch line. 
you could set set up the grid and snack increment increments to one inch intervals. You could create a two inch circle with the circle command and then create a line by placing the first endpoint directly below the center point and use the relative coordinate method input to create the two inch line. Method two we would create the two inch circle, display the object snap toolbar, activate the line command, use the snap to quadrant option, and then create a line by placing the first endpoint on the lower quadrant point of the circle. Then use the relative coordinate input method to create the two inch line. Number seven, what are the length and angle of the inclined line highlighted in the figure below in the top view of the locator design you've done as a tutorial. The length of that line when you check it should be 1.77 excuse me 1.7678 and the angle would be 8 degrees.